Hi Pisces, this is going to be your career reading for July 2019 for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. If you would like to uh, win a free reading with me, check out the description box below on how you can enter for that. And also if you'd like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down below. They are usually done within 24 to 48 hours. If you'd like to check out my bracelets on Etsy, or purchase them should I say, they will be down below. They are intention bracelets which are spiritually charged and they are for different areas of your life. So if you're interested in those, they will be there. And they start from just £3 with free international shipping. So let's get started Pisces and see what I can see <laughs> for your career in July 2019. Okay, so we've got these cards that just want to come out. Justice. Ah, tell you what, let's just stop here for a second. I'm going to pull more cards as we go along, but these two cards resemble each other so well. If you look at the coloration in these cards, they are so identical you know, with the green and the orange, and then the sword being held in one one hand. It's this um, power, feeling very powerful. Also having the power to resolve a lot of conflicts, resolve issues. So you have a lot of power in, in this month of July. So much power. It's unreal. You'll be feeling very balanced, feeling very much so yourself. You know, we've got justice here, which is ruled by Libra. And this is about finding a resolution. It's about holding your knowledge and it's about being in your power, you know, using that sword to cut out people, places and things that don't serve you. It's about being truthful, also truthful to yourself, finding a balance with those scales there. And you know, you've got a lot of green and orange. There it is, you know, and it reflects into this card as well, which again, Queen of Swords here is all about you having really good boundaries, thinking more for yourself, being in power and not accepting any form of BS. So here it is, here it is, a very important message. Try and take on this energy as much as you can in this month because I think that you will feel really, really good about that. So let's see what else has come up. Page of Cups. Ten of Wands. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, wow. So what I'm seeing here essentially is that for some of you, you may feel like you're overworking yourselves and you may feel like you're just being asked to do way too much. So that's coming through with the Ten of Wands feeling really burdened. You can find a resolution with this by trying to find a balance essentially and you know the two of pentacles here is about juggling things so much like it's never ending you know the juggling just doesn't end so try and find a balance in your work schedule try and balance yourself and I do see that you will feel so much more emotionally satisfied in whatever it is that you do these two cups you know is water energy so Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy which also reflects your your sign, you. And this does show that you will be feeling emotionally very stable, but it's going to happen in baby steps. So emotionally stable in the sense that you're being overworked and this is causing you a lot of stress. This stress doesn't need to be there because it shows that you can manage to balance yourself and not juggle as much as you are juggling. I feel like you're juggling too much and it is causing a lot of stress on you. So this is about finding a resolution, standing your power, standing in your truth and with baby steps trying to improve the situation. And you know it starts with the page of cups and then you will move on to feeling like the ace of cups where you finally feel like you found a resolution to your situation. Emotional satisfaction also in that sense which is obviously very positive. There it is, there's the stress that I'm seeing. the hermit here. I feel like some of you are overworking yourselves maybe because you feel like you need more money but it's causing you a lot of stress. You can still earn the money but you you know need to be able to find essentially a balance still within yourself and not get too stressed. The hermit here is this Virgo energy of you know being able to take time and space for yourself you know giving yourself time not constantly overworking yourself which I think you know is very, very, um, you know, it's very positive because, you know, I do see that you will try everything you can in your power to 
become more balanced and more stable because that energy is, is really coming through very strong. Oh wow, perfect. We have actually three cards. So we've got Seven of Cups, King of Swords, and the King of Wands, which shows that you will be feeling very, very good about yourself. We've got Counterparts, which shows that in yourself you will be feeling very balanced. You'll be able to take on that energy and feel good about, you know, stress in your work environment because some of you are doing this for additional money. What I see is that, you know, for a period of time, if you do cut that out and you try and figure yourself out first and you try and put more energy into yourself, you'll be able to feel much more balanced. I feel some of you are just stressing yourself out, yourselves out very important. So it's important to take a step back sometimes and to ground, you know, yourself and just feel happier and take space for yourself. And then you can get back into the work mode because you are really overworking yourself to the point where it's just stressing you out um, too much. It's it's a repeating cycle that just keeps happening. You know, it just doesn't seem to end. So you need to be able to find a balance with that. The King of Wands here is about taking action, you know, taking action on what is happening, which is very, very important. You need to be able to take action and take time for yourself. You need to be able to put that in within yourself and find a find a strong balance. I think that's really, really important. The King of Swords here is also about finding a strong balance. It's about making sure that you're truthful and very honest with yourself in regards to what's happening. If there's something causing you stress and you need to be able to resolve that, you definitely can with that Ace of Cups. Again, that's about emotionally feeling really good about things. And it happens again in baby steps, you know, from the page to the Ace, it happens in steps. So this is really, you know, what this is about. It's about feeling good, feeling you know, satisfied, and also feeling a balance and a sense of things going in the right direction, feeling like they are moving. So also with this Seven of Cups here, we have, you know, dreams, fantasies, illusions. For some of you, you know, you're really working hard for money because you want to be able to have all of these beautiful things and amazing things and you want your life to look a certain way which of course is very normal but the guides are saying make sure you take time for yourself you know you are very very precious you're very important so don't just run behind money it's important it's it's something that will make you financially stable yes but you must take time for yourself and balance yourself before you know you get back into all of this because otherwise it's going to cause a lot of emotional turmoil and it's going to add up to a lot of baggage and we don't want that for you. I really want you to feel stable and good about yourself and balanced rather than feeling stressed, overworked, burdened. Big, big, big difference between both of the energies and this is coming out so, so strong. This is the energy they want to see you and they also want to see you very balanced and taking action for yourself. Um, you know, you still have the potential there to make money so it's not like it's not there. It is there, especially with the Ace of Pentacles but it's about working working smart. You know, there's a very popular phrase, working smart, not hard. Yes, you can work hard. You know, working hard is a great thing, but it's also about working smart. So that's really what's coming through as well. You know, hard work is important, but not to the detriment of yourself. Then you have to reevaluate things. So I do see that a lot of you have a lot to reevaluate re in that sense. So that's coming through really really strong in this particular reading but what I do see is that you will get there and you'll get to a place where you feel so much better emotionally within yourself and things around you as well so that is what I'm seeing for you Pisces and if you feel like this reading resonates with your situation let me know in the comment section below I read all of the comments I can't reply to them all but I do <laughs> read them all and if you like this video don't forget to click a thumbs up on the video and also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, a link will be in the description box below. You don't have to follow me. It is an option. It's going to be there. And, you know, Pisces, I really, I do feel, you know, this is a very beautiful and very strong reading for you. And, you know, that you must take time for yourself and, you know, put some time into yourself that just keeps coming back to me. And you will see, you know, you will see you will see why that's really important. And yeah, I, I hope that you do. Big message, I really hope that you do. So yeah, also check out the description box below if you are interested in purchasing a private reading or if you're interested in uh, entering for the free reading giveaway that I do every month. And my bracelets will also be linked down below as well on Etsy. I hope you all have an absolutely lovely day, night, wherever you are. And take care, everyone.